everyone, welcome back to Introduction to Yoga. I'm Tracy. I'm also here with Jago. Uh, he's here to demonstrate some of the relaxation poses and hopefully not cause too many shenanigans for us. Uh, but we will, we will see what happens with him. <laughs> Never a guarantee that he'll be quiet. If you're new to yoga, the most important thing is to focus on your breathing. Uh, Jago reminds us about living in the moment. Um, if I'm doing any poses that you don't, uh, if it doesn't feel good in your body and you don't like it, don't do them. You can just skip them. Um, it's your practice, you're in complete control, so honor how you're feeling in your body today. So without further ado, we will get started. And hopefully my friend is quiet. <laughs> so perhaps starting with closing the eyes, we're going to start with three breaths. So taking a big inhale in reaching up towards the sky. The shenanigans have started. <laughs> and exhale, sigh it all out. All this chaos cannot touch your inner peace. And inhaling the arms up, taking a deep inhale in. And exhale, sigh it all out, letting everything go letting all of your problems and cares melt away. And inhaling the arms up. And exhale, sigh it all out. And just start to focus on your own natural breath. Trying to deepen the breath as you become more relaxed. You want to continue this breathing throughout your practice. And I invite you to set an intention for your practice. And if you don't have one in mind already, I'd like to suggest that we let go of our limiting thoughts about ourselves. Sometimes we hold ourselves back from our dreams and things we want to do because we think we can't do them, we have doubts and we have fears. And I invite you to let that all go. There's no need for us to stand in our own way. Freedom is really just a thought away. I'm learning to maintain a peaceful state while there's distraction and chaos. And you might be learning the same as you go through your practice. Be gentle with yourself. slowly opening the eyes. We're going to start with a few shoulder rolls to get ourselves a little bit warmed up here. And you can open the eyes or keep the eyes closed. Turning to center, we're going to do a few little stretches for the neck, just very gently. So when you're ready, turning the head very gently to the right. And coming back to center, gently turning the head to the left. to 
center and gently looking towards the ground, feeling a nice stretch along the back of the neck. And returning to center and gently looking up towards the sky. center. We're going to look towards our right shoulder, pointing the nose down towards that shoulder. And returning to center and then pointing the nose down towards the left shoulder. There's a subtle movement. And then coming back to center, gently looking up towards the sky off to the right. Maybe smiling at whatever you see. And returning to center and then gently looking up to the left hand side. There's Jago's reminder to breathe. <laughs> and coming back to center. So we're going to place the right hand on the ground. And we're going to extend the left arm up towards the sky. Just taking a nice little side bend here, trying to keep the chest open towards the sky. And then placing the left hand down on the ground and bringing the right hand up towards the sky. And we're going to flow back and forth through this movement, but you can follow your own breath as you do this. So don't worry about going too deep into the pose. This is just to warm yourself up. If you've been sitting all day, you might be feeling a little tight in the shoulders and the chest. I guess he wanted me to use one more candle. <laughs> Coming back to center, just letting the hands rest in the lap or the, on the knees. Um, we're going to do a few little circles to help warm up the spine as well. So whenever you're ready, very gently, you, you can make the circles as big or as small as you want. Just circles with the upper body. So we're trying to keep the sit bones connected to the ground as we do this. stirring a pot. And you can engage the shoulders a little more here if you want to bring in some of the stretch and the movement. Making this into more of a fluid dance movement, you can just Close your eyes and let yourself flow. And when you're ready, slowly making the circles maybe a little bit smaller. Returning to center and then starting to circle the other way. 
once again trying to keep the sit bones connected to the ground. Perhaps closing the eyes. And no one can see you, so don't worry if you look silly, just let yourself be free to move. feels good for your body. we don't realize how stiff all of these muscles get when we're sitting all day. So now we launch ourselves into activities. Sometimes it's good to be gentle with yourself. through your practice. And on the next one, returning the spine to neutral, coming back to center. We're going to press the big toes together and extend the knees out to the width of the yoga mat, letting the hips sink, sink towards the heels, extending the hands out long, the fingers nice and active, coming into our child's pose. And we can take this pose anytime throughout the practice. It's a nice resting pose. If downward facing dog doesn't speak to you, this is a great pose to come into. chest. And exhaling from the chest and rib cage to the belly. So you can feel relaxed in these postures, even though it might feel like you're working. You should feel quite relaxed as you go through your practice. Calm. Peaceful. So from here we're going to bring the knees back together and we're going to start to tuck the toes. So you can join me in downward facing dog if you choose. 
Or you can stay down in child's pose. So we're gonna slowly start to lift the hips up towards the sky, coming into our first downward facing dog, spreading those fingers nice and wide, trying to press into the thumb and the forefinger just to make sure that we're protecting the wrists. You can pedal the feet out if you choose. Remember, any time that it feels like it's a little too much, you can come down into child's pose. You can sit cross-legged, you can just sit and breathe. It's your practice. So when you feel ready, we're going to slowly start to walk the feet up towards the top of the mat, coming into our forward fold. So bend the knees as generously as you need to. flat back, shoulders down and away from the ears, and exhale, fold, and inhale, coming back all the way up, bringing the hands through heart center, landing in our mountain pose. So for mountain pose, let's just revisit here. We're going to try and ground all four corners of the feet into the yoga mat, feeling nice and stable, keeping the knees a little bit soft. You don't, you don't want to be locking the knees here. Pulling the navel in towards the spine, keeping the shoulders down and away from the ears, and keeping the crown of the head pointed up towards the sky. And our hands can just be at our sides, facing forward. And you should feel very strong in this pose. It's a great pose for helping us feel grounded. So you can picture roots coming out of your feet and extending into the ground. If that helps you feel more grounded. Sometimes if we have a lot of things going on, um, you can be a little bit scattered and spacey. Mountain pose is great for helping us to ground ourselves and stop that feeling of scattered and spaciness. And this one's an easy pose to do anywhere. You can stand up behind your chair uh, at the office and just do this pose. Inhale the arms up, giving a deep inhale in, and exhale, swan dive over and fold. Coming into that forward fold, bending the knees as much as you need to. We're going to step back with the right leg, coming into our lunge pose. So making sure the feet are on two different tracks here. We're going to bring the arms up towards the sky, trying to keep the hips point it forward and you can if this is uncomfortable in the shoulders you can always bring the hands down to the hips if that feels better or you can let the hands rest, rest at the side if you want if you choose lots of options and let's open the hands out to the sides feeling a nice stretch across the chest towards the sky. Fingers are nice and active. And we're going to frame that front leg. And we're going to step back into plank. So you can come down to your knees if you choose. And we're going to slowly start to lower the chest towards the ground. And then from here, we're going to Lift the chest off of the ground, coming into our baby cobra, looking off into the distance, just very gently. Shoulders are down and away from the ears, and of course we're still breathing. And we're turning down. So from here we're going to press back into our child's pose. Extend the hands out 
up nice and long. And then slowly tucking the toes, lifting the hips up towards the sky if you choose, coming into our downward facing dog. towards the front of the mat, coming into our forward fold, and inhale, flat back, shoulders down and away from the ears, and exhale, fold, and inhale, coming back all the way up, bringing the hands through heart center, returning to that mountain pose. So maybe once again, checking in with the feet, just making sure your alignment is where you want it to be. I always have to remind myself about my shoulders, so I like to give them a little roll, just to keep them down and away from the ears. Too many hours spent on a sober computer, I'm sure you all know. And when you're ready, inhaling the arms up, and exhale, swan dive over and fold, coming into that forward fold. And this time we're going to step back with the left leg. So once again, making sure the feet are on two different tracks to give us a little more stability. And then lifting the arms up towards the sky. If that feels good in your body, you can always, once again, hands on the hips are okay. And if this is too intense, you can always straighten the leg a little more or bring the back leg in so it's not as intense. Try to keep both hips pointed towards the front of the yoga mat. Fingers are nice and active. And you can always go deeper into the pose if you're not feeling much. And here we're going to extend the arms out towards the sides, feeling a nice stretch across the front of the chest. I'm watching it snow out the front of the house here, out of the front window. It's all mesmerizing. <laughs> and then reaching up towards the sky. Nice and active through the fingers. And then on the next breath, starting to frame that front leg. And then stepping that leg back into plank. Perhaps coming down to the knees if you choose. Or you can stay up on the, in the full plank if you would like that. And then slowly lowering yourself down to the yoga mat. So the hands are underneath the shoulders here. We're going to lift the chest gently off of the ground, keeping the shoulders away from the ears, elbows into the sides for a baby cobra. And returning down. And from here, we're going to press into our child's pose. hands in, coming up onto our heels here, and then we're just going to tuck the toes under, coming into a bendy foot pose. This can just help stretch the toes, and if it's too intense, you don't have to come that far into it. You can come out of the pose any time.
This is just a nice pose because our feet often get neglected and they carry us around all day when we're out and about running around. So from here we're going to transition to a seated pose and then make our way onto our backs. So just in your own time, as slowly as you need to. So from here we're going to, we're going to keep both legs bent. The spine is nice and straight here. And we're going to let the legs fall to the right. And then return to center. And then let the knees fall to the left. So letting the, your breath guide this movement. Just windshield wiping the legs back and forth. This can help to release any tension in the lower back. Gently returning to center, keeping the legs bent here. We're going to let the knees fall open to either side, coming into our recline butterfly pose. So don't worry if your knees are not on the ground. Mine certainly are not. If you have blocks or pillows, you can certainly prop the knees up if that feels better for you. Knees are pillows. Blocks are pillows. <laughs> hands open at the sides, pointed up towards the sky, or you can come into cactus arms, oops, <laughs> to just help open up the chest. And if this is too intense in the shoulders, you can always leave the hands on the stomach too and just focus on your breathing. Turn to your sides. We're going to start to close the knees, letting the feet return back to the yoga mat, keeping the knees bent. We're going to cross the right ankle over the left knee, coming into our figure four pose, reclined figure four pose. So try to keep both feet flexed. We're going to take a hold of the back of the left thigh or the shin. So the more that you pull that knee in towards the chest, the more intense this pose is. So just go to where it feels good. And go in to where you can still breathe comfortably. And then do 
very gently releasing that leg to the ground. We're going to uncross the legs, let that right leg meet the left. And this time we're going to cross the left ankle over the right knee, flexing both feet. Reaching through, taking a hold of the right thigh or the shin. Releasing the feet, uncrossing the legs. We'll do one last pose. So from here, we're going to extend the left leg out long and let's bring that right knee into the chest, flexing both feet for a wind relieving pose. that right leg, letting it meet the left, and then bringing the left knee in towards the chest. Try to keep both feet flexed. open as wide as the yoga mat. Bring the hands towards the sides, opening the palms up towards the sky. Letting the breath return to normal. Closing the eyes. Maybe getting a pillow or a blanket for the, for the eyes if you want to help filter out any light. Maybe covering up with a blanket if you feel a little cold. So I'm going to take you on a bit of a journey for your relaxation today. So you can let your imagination guide you. So while you're resting on your yoga mat, in your mind's eye, picture yourself walking out the door. It's a glorious, perfect day outside. And you realize that you have wings for this journey. You've become a beautiful bird and you can fly. Ready to try out your newfound wings, you launch and take flight with complete ease and grace, your intuition guiding your way. You soar and let the wind carry you, feeling free. You're completely light and carefree, soaring and gliding to new heights. From up here, you can see the treetops, the beautiful earth below, while the wind sings in your ear and the sun warms your feathers. You take in the beautiful sights, seeing the glorious freedom that these wings have provided. You're safe, relaxed, carefree, content, and joyous all at the same time. Feel the wind in your wings as you soar. Feel the fresh air nourishing your soul with each breath. Feel the sun warming you. 
feel supported by your wings, the universe, the air. You're safe here. You're joyous and happy. There are no limits here. How different a view it is from up here. All you can see is the wonder of the beautiful world below. You could only miss this wonder by focusing on the problems that you have. And you realize that you can take time to slow down, enjoy life and focus on your blessings. You've gained a whole new perspective. You know that you can soar above any problems and negativity and nothing can hold you back from your dreams and freedom is just a thought away. You're ready to head back with your newfound knowledge, taking a last glance from above. You fly home peacefully and softly land on your doorstep. You're no longer a bird, but you're back to your beautiful self, bringing back all of the knowledge, experience and freedom from the bird and the bird's eye view. You're bringing that knowledge to your life, yourself, and the world around you. You walk back through the door as you softly landing on your yoga mat. You feel grounded and connected once again. You feel happy, peaceful, content, healthy, strong, and connected in your own body. You're ready for the rest of your day and you know you can face anything with ease and grace. And you smile as you slowly start to become aware of the room around you. Feeling the ground beneath you. Starting to wiggle fingers and toes. gentle movement back to the body and maybe smiling as you do so and when you're ready rolling over to your right side and slowly making your way back up to a seated position or perhaps keeping them closed. And we'll take one breath together to close our practice today. Inhaling, arms up. And exhale. Bringing the hands to heart center. The light in me honors the light in all of you and every soul. Namaste. I hope you feel rested, peaceful, and ready for the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining and we will see you again next week. Bye.